Hello class, so since we will not be meeting back face to face this uh, semester, um, I'm going to be making a series of videos to show you how your uh, materials are going to be organized and what you're going to be doing. Um, right now I'm talking about the lab exams, so let me show you how you're going to complete these lab exams. So I've gone ahead and I've um, made a link. When you click on content, and you get to your lecture and lab material folders that you're familiar with, I've added a lab exam folder there as well, as you see at the bottom. So right now, lab exam one has been loaded and it's open and ready for you whenever you're ready to take it. So I'm gonna click on lab exams and there you see human anatomy lab exam one. So for those of you in my face-to-face -face class, I have lab on Tuesday, your lab exam one is due Tuesday, March 31st by 5 p.m. Um, if you are in my blended class, yours is going to be due, your lab is typically on Thursday, so your lab exam will be due Thursday, April 2nd by 5 p.m. So um, the exam is timed. The exam will open, it, it will stay open for you for two hours. Um, that should be plenty of time to complete the exam, but please keep an eye on your time to make sure that um, you, know, you get through all the questions. Once you begin the exam, you must complete it. So in other words, you can't start it, save it, walk away from it, come back, finish it. You've got to sit down and take it during the, you know, during the two hour period that it will be open for you. Now, the questions that uh, cover the language of anatomy, I went ahead and made them multiple choice. So you're just going to click on the correct response or responses or maybe multiple um, answers that are correct, in, in, in which case it will say choose all correct. Um, otherwise, if it does not say choose all correct, then you want to just, you know, or choose all of the, the following that are true, something like that, then there will only be one answer that will be correct. So um, that batch is multiple choice. You'll just click on the answers. Now, when you get to tissues, bones, and muscles, what I've done is I, I selected short answer for those. So that will allow you to go into the text box and type your responses. So I, I want to show you how that's going to work. Um, I've given you a little um, explanation here as you can see that for example with muscles it will say letter A name this muscle B name this muscle C name this muscle and I've I've taken pictures of the muscles and I've labeled them with an A and a B and a C so then you will type in um, in the response box you will type in A and you'll write that you type in the name of the muscle that I'm identifying with the pointer that has an A next to it and then you'll type in B and put your answer so I want to go ahead and show you let me open up the exam I'm beginning you click begin okay so there are your extra credit questions you're going to just click on the answers to keep scrolling okay so here's an example of a tissue um, so it says provide a name for the tissue shown below provide a location in the body where this tissue would be found and C is provide a function of this tissue so what you will do in my little box looks like it's opening right below the picture in the box you will type a and you will provide a name so you'll type it in my computer's lagging here oh goodness okay so there we go name of the tissue I mean that's what you're gonna actually put the name of the tissue B location in the body so then you're gonna click B and you're gonna write the location and then C the function so you read the question you wait for your little box to open and you type in your answers and please include A and B and C and answer uh, yeah and answer in that way then I will go in and manually grade these but if you don't tell me what you're answering if you don't give me an A here's my answer to your question at A here's a B then I'm not gonna know what you're what you're answering so please please you know try to be very um, specific about what you're answering so I can go in and manually grade these if you have any questions at all about how to take this lab exam then please either email me 
or I'm going to provide my cell phone number to you as well. I'm going to give you that in an announcement. Call me. Call me or email me if you have any questions at all about the lab exam um, and how you're going to take it. Uh, but I trust you all are all smart people. I trust that you're going to be just fine with this. Um, and it's just, you know, it's a, it's a weird, weird time right now. We're all doing the best we can. So, all right. Thank you. That's how your lab exam is going to be delivered. I will be making more little videos to show you how everything else will be taken care of. So just stay tuned. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.